This short movie explains which are the main factors that determine our hourly wage or annual salary and why wage differs so greatly among different occupations. This guy is Nazir and he's a fast food cook. He works 8 hours every day and earns $18,000 per year. This guy is Barth who is an airplane pilot. He works with the same schedule of hours but he earns much much more, $130,000 per year. This is confusing. Why do annual salaries differ so much between Naz and Barth? What explains those wage differentials? Where some people earn more money, some earn less money. Let's see. Wage differentials can arise on either the supply or the demand side of labor markets. For example, there are currently three pilots looking for jobs. The demand for pilots is high, not three job opportunities, but tens of job opportunities. Therefore, labor demand is very strong and yielding to a much higher salary. In contrast to the previous example, in this case the labor supply of fast food cooks is very high, comparing to the demand for fast food cooks, which is very low. So there is a lot of competition in the labor market for gaining the job position of the fast food cook. Therefore, labor supply is very strong comparing to the demand and yielding to a much lower salary. Now we are presenting you with two scenarios to explain the marginal revenue productivity. Bard, the airplane pilot, works for American Airlines. Because his job is very productive and generates high revenues for his company, this leads to Bard having a very high salary. On the contrary, Naz works for Chabab Tore Meite in Pristina. His job has modest productivity to his employer and generates little revenue. Therefore, his salary is much lower. So, this explains how salary varies based on productivity and the revenue contribution the employees make to their employers. It is simple. You cannot compare the wage of a fast food cook with an airplane pilot because they are subject to non-competing groups. Therefore, workers in one group do not qualify for the occupations of other groups. Only few workers have the ability or physical attributes to be a guitar player, a fast typer or to be Supergirl. Because the supply of these particular types of labor is very small in relation to labor demand, their wages are high. Another source of wage differentials is differing amounts of human capital, which is the personal stock of knowledge, know-how and skills that enables a person to be productive and thus to earn income. For example, Bard chose an aviation major during his university studies. He graduated and went through lots of trainings to be hired by American Airlines as a pilot. We are using an example of a construction worker to explain what compensating differences means. This is a smet. Because his job may involve a sore back, injuries or the risk of death, he will be paid more to compensate for non-monetary differences. Different to smet, this is Edira. She works in an air-conditioned office with a very comfortable chair. So her job doesn't involve a sore back, injuries and especially not death. Therefore she doesn't have any compensating differences and will be paid less. Some persistent differentials result from various market imperfections that hinder workers from moving from lower paying jobs to higher paying jobs. For example, workers may simply be unaware of job opportunities and wage rates in other geographic areas and in other jobs for which they qualify. Many workers are reluctant to move to new places. Doing so would involve leaving friends, relatives and associates and incurring the costs and inconveniences of adjusting to a new job. This is Jan Hu Diman from China. He is currently working at Extra Cafe. A new boss takes over the management of Extra Cafe and he makes some changes. He decides to demote Jan Hu Diman. Yes, demote. This is a pure case of discrimination in the workplace. Marginal revenue productivity, non-competing groups, compensating differences and market imperfections are reasons why wages differ so much among different occupations. And now we understand why Bard gets paid $130,000 and Naz only $18,000 per year. Created using Powtoon.